I swear I cannot be the only one who read their birth chart for the first time and discovered Neptune and went, I have no idea honestly what these themes are or what this planet represents. Neptune is frankly confusing. And so in this video, I want to break down what Neptune is and what it means for it to be transiting and in the birth chart. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Isabel, your spiritual rebel friend, and today I want to dive deep into what it, Neptune is in the chart because even for me to this day, or at least as of two days ago, I would read about Neptune and go, I frankly don't really even know what these themes are because so many words get thrown around and it really took away from understanding the benefits of the transits of Neptune and also what it means to have Neptune in your chart. So in this video, I want to break down all of what I've discovered Neptune is in my own personal interpretation and really what the root is of Neptune. Because if you learn about Neptune from other astrologers who do a wonderful job, I want to know, they'll say things like dreams, fantasies, deception, which all seems like one theme. But then I was listening to some other astrologers who say it has to do with physical health and illness. Some people who say it has to do with radiation. And slowly after research, I could kind of see how these were all put together. But at first glance, it felt like nothing was related. So I want to talk about Neptune. But before I do, make sure you hit the link in the description below to check out my astrology course. If you are someone who is interested in learning to become your own astrologer, read the transits, understand the depths of each of the 12 zodiac signs, planets, houses, placements you can possibly have. This course is for you. I designed it using the knowledge I've gathered over the last five years as an astrologer that has helped me create unique interpretations that people always say, well, like you, you didn't, no one else explains it the way you do. So if you want to learn how to develop your own style of astrology interpretation, be able to predict transits and therefore plan out your life, this course is for you. Check it out in the link in the description below. And if you want to learn more about your chart, you can always book a reading. Link is in the description below. So Neptune, what is Neptune? First, let's talk about just as the planet, because before we even get into what it means specifically in the chart and transiting, because it doesn't make any sense. Neptune is, you know, the Roman god of the ocean. Greek version would be Poseidon. How does that play out in our chart? For, and especially because in, in interpretation, it can seem like for transiting, it seems to bring confusion and in the chart it has something to do with the collective. Neptune doesn't move very often as I believe it's either every seven or 14 years, 14 years about, um, maybe occasionally 13, 13, 14 years Neptune moves. So this is more of a collective planet to have in your chart and in transit it means something different but I'll get to that in a minute. First talking about in the chart because it doesn't move as often, this doesn't play as much of a role on your personal life other than the fact that of how, what house it's in. So Neptune, while it may be the god of the ocean, has nothing literally to do with the waters. In my interpretation, the simplest way to summarize Neptune is it is the planet of the vibrational world. Similar to Jupiter, as I love to talk about because I'm my ruling planet is Jupiter and I love Jupiter themes. Jupiter seems to be the law of attraction, this idea of spiritual and material abundance. Neptune is similar, but it has to do with all forms of consciousness and the vibrational world. And the re and you can see this in the way that Neptune, words often associated with it, are dreams, disillusion, and um, confusion. Those are the three words that come up most common if you look up anything related to Neptune or if Neptune is included in a transit. And that is because, as I've interpreted for myself, Neptune in the end represents this part of us that does not see the material world. It is in the vibrational world. It sees the consciousness vibration and it sees the vibration of things. So wherever Neptune is in your chart will indicate to you where you tend to see the vibrational side of things. Because of this as well, that was loud. My chair creaks a lot. <laughs> 
because of this as well, Neptune also represents idealism in my view. And so because it also doesn't move very often, it's uh, 14 year age groups basically. So for example, I have Neptune in Aquarius as a Gen Z. That was, Neptune was in Aquarius from 1998 to 2011, I believe. And so my idealism is around the Aquarius archetype. So Neptune, to summarize better in a better order, Neptune represents dreams, disillusionment, confusion, idealism, the vibrational world, simply put. And wherever it rests in your chart shows you what zodiac sign you as a collective in your age group, that 14 year age group, will have idealism and disillusionment around because they want to embrace the vibration of it rather than seeing how it plays out in the realistic material reality. You know, that when people say, this is the real world, kid. Um, so to say, your uh, uh, Neptune placement will tell you how you can't get on that page. Uh, what What is the most um, hard for you to incorporate materialistically in the three-dimensional reality? Because you feel it on such a vibrational level that it's hard to incorporate in a two-dimensional or three-dimensional world. So Neptune is our idealism and the sign it's in shows us our collective idealism. So for example, for my age group, we are very idealistic and a bit, uh, you could call it crazy, but disillusioned in our ideas of how we embrace Aquarius. We should all be humanitarian, collective, it's probably why the idea of saving the earth in Gen Z is really, really powerful, more than the previous generations. And cancel culture, frankly, because uh, Aquarius is all about um, embracing the individual, being accepting of everyone's individual's, uh, individual self. And if anyone's not going to get on that page, we're going to cancel them, which is a bit ironic, but um, in my view. But the point is whatever sign your Neptune is in will tell you where you hold your ideals and your ideals are not going to be practical. What house your Neptune is in will show you where you struggle to be material focused in your reality. So for example, once again, my Neptune is in my second house, which means I struggle with being three dimensional, practical, realistic with my money and my self worth. This is something I deal with on a more vibrational level. I may be better actually at probably making money in more vibrational ways, so to say, more focused on the law of attraction. And I'm gonna struggle with being practical about money. So if it's in your sixth house, you may struggle with practical routines. If it's in your seventh house, you may be very idealistic about your relationships. Wherever, whatever house it's in will show you where you're idealistic, but also where you may be struggle with practicality. So Neptune is really, in my view, because it's so collective, as far as your personal chart, it shows you basically just where you may be, will struggle, simply put more. Uh, struggle to be realistic though. I think that in the end, Neptune can be embraced in a high vibrational setting, especially because as I've heard, Neptune is said to be the higher octave of Venus. And I love this interpretation because Venus is the planet of love and it is the lover of the world. It wants to stop and smell the roses, enjoy the lovers, have the good food, indulge, love life. But love is not something we receive. It is a way of being. It is a vibrational thing. And so in, that's why I say Neptune can simply be summarized as vibration because Neptune is the vibration of love. It can show us how we are, um, embrace unconditional love in its highest expression. In its low expression, it can bring confusion because we're getting pulled into negative vibrations, but at its core, it wants to be high vibrational love. And so I could see this in one interpretation from my own chart, having Neptune in Aquarius in second house, that when I feel the most unconditionally loving, um, is when I embody my self-worth, give out freely wealth, and attain wealth to inspire other people that they can do the same and appreciate others' individuality. So Neptune in the positive in your chart can bring unconditional love. But if you are not on the uh, same page of seeing things vibrationally, such as in the law of attraction sense, then it can bring confusion because in the end, Neptune sees the vibration of things. It's 
are in a way it's our energetic body and so if we're not tapping into our energetic body and acting from the mind it's going to bring confusion so in the chart brings confusion um idealism and helps you tap into unconditional love if you have any planets in the same sign as neptune or conjunct neptune it's going to mean that again you're less realistic about those themes you're have probably feel like things are more foggy more often very confusing and you have to think about it less and feel about it more what about though transits what does it mean when neptune is transiting or forming a conjunction with the moon or forming a sextile with the sun neptune transits indicate to us where we can find i in my interpretation more unconditional love tap into our vibrational energetic body and it may bring up confusion simple as that and we may then i think simply put in a way neptune transits and in the chart means that area of life or whatever is being affected means we're going to think less there because the more we think the harder we push against neptune's energies which is all about just being a vibrational being and letting our intuition guide us so another word associated with neptune would be intuition which i've heard often and so neptune transits can bring up confusion for example neptune's retrograde in pisces right now and so that could be in an interpret interpretation that we could be we're trying to relearn our themes with pisces overall especially because saturn's also here we're trying to learn what it means to be vibrationally open and empathetic to people without having our boundaries crossed and so we are revisiting and experimenting with our intuition during this time we're experimenting with how we think and how we step into love and how we embrace unconditional love so if there was a planet to cross over neptune this could mean that let's say for example if for some reason the moon uh, we had a full moon in pisces conjunct neptune or in the same sign even as neptune this would mean that this is going to be even more a focus on vibration during this time in the sense that you don't want to think so hard. You're just going to get confused and put yourself in a spiral if you try to think things through more. And so instead, it would be better, more beneficial for you to just feel your way through this full moon, to focus on noticing your vibration, tune into how you feel. I think the map of consciousness um, really plays into Neptune's themes and can help understand the concept of Neptune because it tells us how there's these this vibrational scale and we're always kind of we have a general set point and we can go up and down a little but we generally have a set point and neptune really comes back to these themes of consciousness has vibrations or levels to it and there's a low expression and a high expression and oftentimes in order to level up we have to surrender or we have to um to focus on being letting things go so to say so neptune really covers all that in summary though in the end neptune in our chart and in transits has to do with the concept of tuning into vibration in my interpretation letting go of confusion and overcoming confusion by thinking less oftentimes our mind can be our detriment and so by tuning into neptune tuning into your own vibration this can show you how you can raise your vibration elevate your consciousness by focusing on vibration and intelligence through energy rather than intelligence of the mind and so in your chart neptune really does have to do with how you can elevate your frequency it can also bring confusion you're not going to be able to be linear in that area of your life and when it's transiting, it's an invitation for you to think less. If it um, is retrograde, if it's conjunct something, there may be confusion when Neptune comes up. But remember just to do less because in the end, that's what Neptune wants you to do. Hopefully this video helped you understand what Neptune is. I did feel inspired to talk about it because I have frankly, even now, struggled with understanding Neptune and i've been trying to do more research because i'm prepping to do my course the master astrologer which if you are someone who wants to learn more on how they can be a master astrologer you should check out this course in the link in the description below this is the most i try to make this the most 
concise and detailed course there is out there. This covers everything you truly need to know to be a master astrologer. We start off with the basics, going through each of the zodiac signs in depth and how you can fully understand them and see the themes in your life. And then we go into the houses and the planets. You learn how to read charts. You learn how to read transits, give horoscopes, everything. So if that sounds interesting to you, check out the link in the description below and I hope to see you in there. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos breaking down the stars, math, uh, astrology, Enneagram, and more. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. And did this video actually help you understand Neptune? I would love to know in the comments below and I would love to know what you want to learn about astrology and create more content on here for you guys. So let me know what you want to hear next in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name's Isabel and from my heart to yours, namaste.